Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome to my channel. Today it is a combined wax haul. I apologize, it's not face to face, um, but I just haven't been in the mood to film myself that way. But I got a bunch of wax in that I want to sniff and smell and appreciate and then put in my collection. Um, yeah, so I want to get into it. I've got four shops here. One is new to me. So let's start off with the new one. Um, all the shops will be linked down below, but let's get into it. My first order was from Birdie's Making Sense. Um, and yeah, so Andrea messaged me from SPC and she was like, hey, um, Hannah's baby is in stock at Birdie's Making Sense, which is probably from what I've seen, like her most famous popular scent. Everyone I've watched do wax holes have pretty much got a Hannah's baby. So I was like, hey, I'll try and um, I'll try it out. I might as well pick one up. And she had these souffles in stock. But I'll show you my samples first, which came in a really cute purple bag. So first we have a thank you card, which is all hollow. And then it just her details. Um, and then the freebies I got, I got one of her um, infamous food waxes. I, I'm i going to be completely honest here, maybe unpopular hot take, but I can't stand the food uh, ones, especially if they, they don't smell the way they look. Like the dissonance of that just kind of makes me want to gag. Uh, but this one's like, it's on the it's on the edge for me, but it's all right. It's a little chicken wing <laughs> or a chicken leg. Um, and this one is called Spread Your Wings and Fry Cotton Candy Blackberry Jam and Buttered Popcorn. Now the scent sounds amazing, but um, that uh, <laughs> I just can't. That's why I just um, I don't really follow Birdie's Making Sense much, but let's try it out nonetheless. Like I don't know, <laughs> that's so gross to me. Uh, it smells really good though, especially because I love popcorn. You definitely get that like buttery popcorn underneath and then a slight sweetness. I'm not quite getting the blackberry jam, um, but I assume like, it was poured on, on January, so I assume if I let it um, cure a little bit longer, this one will probably be really good warmed. And then thankfully I just got a blog for the other one, <laughs> a Break Me Bar, called Hello Darkness My Old Friend, which just makes me think of Rested Development. Um, but this is Cinnamon Buns, Coffee House, and Zucchini Bread. Now I'm interested about the Coffee House because um, if you saw one of my, my, I think it's my last Andrea D stash, she sent me this one from Farmer's Daughter that um, literally made me gag, like it was so funky and gross. And Andrew's theory it was that it was coffee house, so that was in it. So let's see if this is also funky and disgusting. But this is a cute little bar with the glitter in it. See? No, I'm not getting any funky. I think like I'm not getting a lot of zucchini bread or coffee uh oh, coffee in it. I'm getting like straight up cinnamon buns, but that actually smells really good. Like it's that straight up sugary, um, powdery cinnamon, like if you put it on top. It smells like the cinnamon that if you put on top of a milkshake, which I used to do that with banana smoothies growing up. I just put some cinnamon on top. It smells like that kind of cinnamon that you have in your shelf. So not like super spicy, but sweet. So that was really good, but I don't get any coffee and I don't get any zucchini bread. So I don't, I don't know. I still don't know about coffee house, but there was no funk. So, I don't know, interesting. But let's get into Hannah's baby. I will say, I think the souffle she makes for these is so pretty. Like that pink with that holographic glitter. So this is strawberry white cake and zucchini bread and people swear by this one. Um, and they buy loads. But I was saying for like, it's a pretty big souffle. I think you can get quite a lot out of this. So if it's good, at least I've got a fair bit. Yeah. That has a really nice, like, strong strawberry scent to it, like sweet strawberry. 
A lot like strawberry milk, which we love in this house. <laughs> yeah, that's really that really smells really lovely. I like that. I think this is the top, so I assume it's a bit it's a bit messy. Oh wow, it's really strong on the bottom. I think she puts like loads of the strawberry white cake. Because I find often that um, strawberry white cake and strawberry pound cake get lost in blends for me personally, what I've smelt so far, but this one is like strong strawberry and I really like that. And I assume that the zucchini is probably just going to um, warm it up and be really pretty on warm. Oh my god, it's a super messy wax so <laughs> My gosh. That's really pretty though. So I'm happy I picked one up and that Andrea let me know somewhere in stock because um, it's never in stock whenever I've looked at the website. And then I'm just sat there looking at disgusting food wax and I'm like, ew. <laughs> so I'm happy to have something like so pretty and smells good like this hat is baby. But that is my first order from Birdies Making Sense. I just got wax everywhere. I gotta clean this up properly because my cat sleeps on here. Um, all right, next, let's get into L3 Waxy Wonders. This is a restock she didn't do too long ago. She's been doing a lot of restocks lately. I just got a trick bar, some puppy bags, and the two, I can't remember what these are called, the two like cake things. Um, but I went into order for this one specifically. I've been waiting for this to get restocked. It's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which is Mountain Dew, Blue Raspberry, and Cherry Icy. And um, just when I first heard about this um, wax being, like this blend existing, I'm like, well, I want that because I love Bill and Ted and their Excellent Adventure, um, especially as a history nerd. So <laughs> Love that and I was so excited. I've never had like um, like a Mountain Dew, um, like a drinks, soft drink, slushy kind of blend before. I think this will be perfect for summertime. Oh yeah, wow. Mm, it smells so good. They are mostly getting Mountain Dew. But such a good smell and it's like the slight fizziness. It's not like overwhelmingly fizzy. That's like a really delicious and sweet but also citrusy. So which kind of cuts through that sweetness. It, it literally smells like um, soft drink. <laughs> I love that. So I'm so glad I was able to pick that up. And I got some puppy packs. We got Emerald City which is baked Granny Smith apple pie topped with brown sugar on a pretzel crust. So I was like, yes, please. And I've never gotten a puppy bag before, but you get a whole bunch of little shapes. Oh my God, look at this tiny strawberry. Teeny tiny strawberry. <laughs> and so you got some asterisks. You got just a block, a bunny, a tit. This is a really big gummy bear. It's a really big gummy bear. All right, I'll smell it now. I'm definitely getting that um, green apple. I'm mostly just getting the apple. I'm not getting a lot of the like pie pretzel. But that might come out more and warm. At the moment it's kind of just like a sweet green apple, to be honest. So we'll see if that pretzel comes out. Still got Hannah's baby everywhere. <laughs> All right, I'll clean it up after. Then we have Circus Concessions, Caramel Apple, Caramel Popcorn. And these are like, you got a sun, you got flowers. Lots of flowers and suns in this one. But again, I love popcorn, so. Probably just smell it from the bag. Oh yeah, you can really smell that like soft caramel. Like a buttery caramel with that popcorn. And just a hint of apple. Yeah, you have that caramel and apple and then a slight bit of popcorn. But that's really nice. 
That's really nice mix. Maybe I should do this from the bag. <laughs> Let's try Emerald City again. All right, from the bag, I think I'm getting a bit more of that sort of pie crust kind of touch. Still not quite the pretzel, but we'll see. And then finally we have a trick tot of Earl Grey tea. We love Earl Grey tea in this house. Yeah, see so this one's kind of let me down. It doesn't, to be honest, it doesn't smell at all like Earl Grey tea to me. Earl Grey, like, to make Earl Grey tea you put bergamot in it. And I don't know, I'm almost, almost not even getting tea. I'm getting like, um, okay, maybe there's sort of like a roasted tea in the back. But it's kind of all roasty, almost peppery. Like, I'd almost second guess that this is a tea smell at all. I don't know. Maybe it's different on warm, but it's not smelling Earl Grey tea or even tea. To me, it's, it's smelling like peppery and kind of spicy and not even much tea. So I don't know about this one, but that's everything I got from L3. I should say, first of all, that, yeah, I don't have any samples, but... Um, I only got samples with two of these orders. It's a hit or miss with my mail forwarder if they like let me have the sample or they just throw it out because it's not on the invoice, you know? So, I, I, I didn't get my L3 samples this time. This is too bad, but I got my Hannah making, I got my birdies making sense samples and I also got them from the next shop, which is Rose Girls. Um, so I got the sample, but they actually put it into, like, they added it to my order. So this was, like, they, because they make a list of what's in the box for customs, they added this to the list with the cost, but, oh well. Which they didn't do for all of them, but they seem to do it for Rose Girls, probably because it looks very similar to the main bags. But the freebie I got was Wanderlust. This was lavender, lime, chamomile, and cilantro. Which, fun fact, in Australia we call it coriander. So we call the fresh leaves coriander and we call the seeds coriander too. But we call it like coriander seed. Um, the dry spice. So. <laughs> I don't know. We like to confuse ourselves in Australia. Like how we call both fries and chips or crisps. We call it all chips. Because that's how we do. And now this is interesting. This one, I always... This is like the fun thing about getting samplers, because I think from the, the line of these scents, like I wouldn't ever buy this in a big pack, but, well, the main note in here, I think, is definitely a lime. It's like a really strong citrusy tart lime, verging on cleaning lime, but it's kind of mellowed out by the other notes. I'm not sure what cilantro does, but it's an interesting scent. I will definitely try this out. Um, maybe around cleaning. I think it smells like a cleaning to me. So I might try it out in spring. Um, but no, it's interesting. So I'm glad to have a little bit of that. But this was from... This was a pre-order, I think. Because then she had RTS with this. But I pre-ordered this flavor. This <laughs> this scent. Um, but so this was... Um, I can't remember which pre-order, but I pre-order not long ago. But this is sugar cookie latte and opposite of keto, which is sh frosted sugar cookies, hot lattes, cookie dough, monster cookie, raw sugar cookie, waffle cone, pretzels, and cream cheese frosting. And I feel like I've seen a lot of sugar cookie latte and opposite of keto, um, like that people say are good. So I was like, why not together? <laughs> That does smell really good. It's odd, it's hard to pinpoint because there's so much stuff in there. It has overall warm bakery. Um, maybe a little touch of bitterness from the lattes and then I'm definitely getting cream cheese. Maybe uh, a low buttery note probably from the pretzels. Yes, no, I, I really like it. 
Um, I think it, I think because of the pretzel in there and the lattes, it adds a little bit more to all of those like normal, and then the cream cheese, you definitely get. Kind of rounds it out to a different, so it's not too sweet, you know? And then, of course, I got chocolate covered cherry cake pops. And look how pretty. I love the colors. I give the chocolate and then <laughs> the cherry. I love the colors of these. And yeah, it's pretty much what it says it is. There's chocolate, there's cherry. And it's sort of rounded out with like a creaminess underneath. Mmm. And it's a really nice cherry. I think it's very like, it almost makes me think of glacé cherries. That kind of feeling, like it's not medicinal. Well, I don't know what medicinal cherry smells like, but um, yeah, I love it. It's great. <laughs> I'm all about that scent. Um, and then this was my wild card. Um, this is Cucumber Frain Zen. And I, know, I was just interested because I do love cucumbers as scent. Rain sounds interesting. I don't know what Zen is. I haven't been able to find like what actually constitutes Zen on her website, but Oh yeah, it's like You definitely get that sweet cucumber in there, but I think the Zen is adding a lot of like woody musky scents to it, but then it's cut through with the cucumber and rain with a slight bit of aquatic it almost goes back and forth between those those two feelings of fresh, aquatic, with and kind of fruity with the cucumber to the woodsy, musky feeling of zen, I assume. Yeah, that's really beautiful. I love that. I'm always tempted, like, I know I just got this, but I'm tempted to put this in my March melting basket, just maybe to melt to the end of March, when hopefully it becomes a bit more springy. And we can like, and plus my theme for March is to use gray, uh, gray, <laughs> is to use green wax. And obviously this baby's green. So maybe I might do that at the end of March um, in my melting basket, just to change things up. Cause I feel like uh, Rose Girls, but I melted one that I got in and I felt like it was pretty much cured to be honest. So yeah, but that's everything I got from Rose Girls. Don't worry, I have plenty more Rose Girls coming as I do for the next, sh the last shop here, which is Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, I think others will be feeling this way that it's been really hard not to buy from Sassy Girl. <laughs> And this month I've been melting up a single brittle that I got from Andrea and the brittle has been so good that I'm like, I think I'm gonna buy more from Sassy Girl because I am loving the performance and the smell. Um, and she's been having like almost weekly pre-orders. She's just been doing pre-orders for the weekend. So she's been having very consistent pre-orders and getting them out really fast. So yeah, and in fact, Last night, um, she when I'm filming this, um, she had another pre-order open and I got a couple of brittles. Um, but what I'm, I'm really waiting for, I hope, is a brittle of IHOP or a high hop, IHOP blend to come out. She did bring out a loaf of ice cream scoop bread at IHOP, but I really just want IHOP and I want it in a brittle. So I've been waiting for that, but we'll get there eventually. I'm sure she'll bring it out. It's so popular, but... I got a little um, card. I see this one, I, I'm pretty sure she brings out samples that are little pots, but I don't, I didn't get a sample in this. In fact, this order was kind of just free full, just free floating in my My US shipping box. So whatever. Anyway, I got three brittles, um, a chunk muffin, I think she calls it. No, that's what Rose Girls does, but like the tin. And then I got this little um, snap bar that I can't remember what she, breakaway bars. Anyway, so let's get into these first because they're smaller. This was sort of my, one of my wild cards. This whole order is kind of a wild card, to be honest. Um, this was Beach Hut and it's a jasmine, orange blossom, clean fresh air, ozone, powder and cotton blossom. And I haven't tried any scents with this kind of thing, like kind of probably gonna be a little bit laundry. Um, but I, I 
but you really wanting to like try out all sorts of different stuff and this is a great size. I wish he would do more of these but because the brutals are pretty big and expensive. Oh yeah. I picked this one up because I really like jasmine and well, I like um, Jasmine's in the wild and then orange blossom sounded a bit nicer. This is definitely a sort of powdery musky I think you do get that fresh air ozone It's just a really nice soft laundry scent with a little bit of floral So I do like that. I think this will be good during um, Spring and summer when it's like hot You just want something fresh to put on and then I got in the muffin shape. So you get a, quite a lot in there. I picked up my sister Rose, which is rose jam and birthday cake. So I was thinking like, if this smells good, this would be great to melt like around Locke's birthday in April because my partner Locke loves rose water. And rose water is just like not a scent that you see in any of these shops. I don't think it's popular in America anyway, but um, and rose water is very different to rose. So I was hoping like maybe the rose jam would be closer to rose water than it is to like rose petals or powder, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then blend with birthday cake, perfect. <laughs> perfect for their birthday. Oh yeah, that smells really good. I think the jamminess, like it brings a sweetness to that rose. That is perfectly rose water. And then you have that base of the vanilla birthday cake. Mmm, this smells really good. It's definitely a jammy rose rather than a rose petal. Wow. These chunks, the, like, it's beautiful. Oh, it's really like, there's a way more birthday cake at the bottom. Really sweet and smooth. And then with that rose hit, this is definitely not a petal or powdery rose this is a jammy rose so if you're interested in that I highly recommend like if you like rose water like I I so that post has been going around of like how could Edmund from Narnia have sold out his family for the disgusting Turkish delight I'm like that's luck they would also sell out their family for rose water Turkish delight so I for one love Turkish delight too um like a big Cadbury chocolate is um, it's the Turkish Delight jelly and then it's covered in chocolate and it's called Turkish Delight chocolate bar. So good. But anyway, <laughs> that is my sister Rose and then I'm going to leave pineapple treats for last because apparently this sells out almost every pre-order. And I know everyone was talking about it and I always see it get um, uh, requested so uh, I had to pick it up. <laughs> Just to see, but we're gonna go to that one last because it's the most popular. So, first I got Fuzzy Peach, which is actually in the pre order this weekend. Um, and I was like, no, you already have it, Jess. <laughs> we have Peach, this is a lot in it, by the way. We have Peach, Pear, Freesia, Nectarine, Jasmine, Apple Blossom, Sweet Pea, Tea, Blonde Woods, Orchid, Musk, Vanilla, and Sugar Cane. And of course, I love Peach, Pear. Nectarine, Jasmine. I have a scent with apple blossom that I loved. So I thought this this is less fuzzy peach to me and more like it's gonna be a very floral, girly, fruity scent. And look how pretty. Um, they pretty much always come broken because my US doesn't care. <laughs> um, but it's a very, the brittles are just so beautiful. Oh yeah. First thing you get hit with is like a, a delicious sweet fruity syrup. I'm gonna take this bit out. First and foremost, you have like a fruity syrup, that mix of those fruits, not anyone really jumps out. And then I think you definitely get that sweet pea. It's not too florally or musky actually, I think it's fruit forward. Oh. Delicious. Uh, what scent is, um, it almost reminds me of um, a Bath & Body Works scent. I think it's um, honey lavender maybe, but obviously there's no lavender in here. But it gives me that kind of feels of honey lavender, which I actually bought the like body spray of that before I went 
on my trip to my research trip to England in 2017 and so that smell always just makes me think of my trip to England um like summer England but it's in the same wheelhouse I think as this not the lavender but or the honey but that kind of that sweet florally smell really delicious not too florally so if you wanted to give those kind of jasmine blossom sweet pea like a sense a try but you like fruit I think that'd be a good one this whole order is, was a wild card really <laughs> lavender cookies um, sweet lavender cookies and vanilla I think she must have changed this because I was watching an old um, M's Crafty is it M's Crafty Corner? M's Crafty something I was watching all of her sassy girl aroma hauls because I'm a freak and she had lavender cookies, but it just said lavender cookies and vanilla, so. And maybe it was always sweet lavender, now she's just, you know, it's sweet lavender, but. Really beautiful. But I thought this could be a good way to do lavender. Mmm. Because I like lavender in coffee. I had a lavender um, latte once, um, but straight up lavender can be a lot. Yeah, that's really interesting. Like, there's almost no florally herbal lean to it. I'm smelling most of all cookies and vanilla, and then there's something else in it, which is obviously the la the sweet lavender, but it's not like, oh, lavender, you know? Like, it's just something else there that changes up the, the scent. That's really nice, so I like that. Oh my gosh. Keeping all this air in my plastic. All right, finally, let's try the the big Kahuna, the pineapple treats. This is Hawaiian fresh cut pineapple and coconut milk. Introduce themselves before revealing a deeper, decadent coconut cream. And obviously, I think this is supposed to be like a dupe for Doll Whip or like that kind of feeling. Those pineapple trips treats. Never had Doll Whip, but I love pineapple soon. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this one's in one piece, by the way. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I, I instantly see what people are talking about. That's insane. It literally smells like the juiciest, freshest, sweetest pineapple. Like you literally just got a fresh pineapple and cut it up. And it's like perfectly ripe. Wow. I'm not getting a lot of coconut. I'm getting like straight up pineapple, but this is legit smelling pineapple. Like it, not even, um, not even tinned pineapple. It's really the fresh pineapple with a slight bit of tart. Mmm. Oh wow, that smells amazing. I can see why it smell it sells out. Cause that is some fresh pineapple, my friends. That smells so good. It literally just smells like fresh pineapple. And I assume on warm or as it cures a bit more, we'll probably get a bit more of that coconut. Make sure there's no like, it looks like there's a scratch in the plastic, but it's fine. But yeah, wow. Um, I can see the hype for this one. If you haven't tried it and you love pineapple, well, you probably tried it then already, right? Because you love pineapple, but that was freaking delicious. That's some fresh, fresh pineapple. All right. So that is everything I got for this wax haul. I've got another one coming and I've also got some Andrea D stash coming like a lot. <laughs> she's the, she's D stashed a lot to me coming. So I will try and film those with my face. Um, but thanks so much for tuning in to this wax haul nonetheless. Let me know, do you have any of these? Do you have any recommendations for me? Um, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.